This step I'm about to talk about is, in my opinion, the most dangerous one to master for any mid laner, and here's why. So, knowing your enemy jungler is essentially knowing your limit. Most people focus on knowing your enemy mid laner, which I can go in full depth later on, but however, knowing your enemy jungler is one that is rarely talked about and is a huge advantage when fully acknowledged. Let's get straight to the point. Whichever enemy jungler is picked, that will decide whether or not to play aggressive in lane. Simple. If they have a new new jungle, you can play aggressive. If they have a Lee Sin jungle, you might want to play passive. Easy, right? However, some junglers are somewhat towards the middle, so I'm going to do a list of most of the junglers and classify them into three categories. Aggressive, passive, aggressive, and passive. And uh, after that, I'll be going into more detail on the general idea of what you're supposed to do when going against each certain junglers. So let's get to the list. First up for the aggressive junglers, the junglers who can accessibly camp, gank both early and whenever they feel. We have Sejuani, Kane, Ramis, Rex. Sai, Lee Sin, Shaco, Zach, Gragas, Vi, Evelyn, and J4. The reason they have so much pressure when ganking is the fact that they can gank early at level 1 and 2 right off the bat. They'll have such a quick burst and have at least one ability of CC to guarantee a kill. These junglers are always looking for an early gank constantly rather than farming to 6 for a gank power spike. The common way of ganking for these junglers will be from behind the walls in the mid lane or shoot up through the side rush while sliding against the wall closing to you. The best way to avoid them is to freeze the lane, don't get anywhere close to the midpoint of the mid lane, stay under the tower, and keep the mid lane at an equilibrium as best as possible. If your lane pushes towards the enemy, even in the slightest, you might want to ward. You cannot let these early gankers a slight advantage. They do excellent ganks in the early game, however, that's only because of their lack of teamfight presence. When late game hits, they usually fall off, except for the tanks like Sedge and Zac. Everyone else, however, starts to do poorly. The best way to beat them is to starve them. Starve them of early Early ganks and opportunities and they will be more impatient and forced to farm the jungle more than usual. Now for the passive aggressive category. We have Shivana, Warwick, Kha'Zix, Nocturne, Rengar, Elise, Amumu, Nautilus, Wukong, Ivern, Sun Zhao, and Pantheon. These junglers are somewhat in the middle depending on your mid champ. These junglers can gank worse or better. Half of these junglers gank success relies on their CC skill shot or they're good initiate from behind. They do not want to play fully aggressive but not fully passive. Their ganks are practically 50-50. You can avoid skill shots and stay zoned to a warded bush to keep you at a distance between you, your enemy mid laner, and the enemy jungler. Stay alert and you'll be fine. Now for the junglers who literally, unless they have a good initiate from their mid lane or just they just happen to have ghosts, cannot kill you from a gank 80% of the time. Here's the passive category. We have Mundo, Shinomir, Fiddlesix, Olaf, Udyr, Graves, Maokai, Master Yi, Kindred, Echo, and Nunu. These junglers are more about picks and team fights rather than ganking. However, when it does come to ganking, they fully rely on the mid lane to initiate or the enemy jungler to come from behind the mid lane or ghosting as well, running you down. Plus, with the factor of them having to run you down to do damage, then probably slow it and followed by a mid lane combo. The best way to avoid these junglers is to ward, obviously, but to ward correctly. Know which way they will go to gank you and be paired to run. As I said before, they rely on the enemy mid laner to engage. If the enemy mid laner goes towards you out of nowhere thinking he can 1v1 you, run. Because the only reason he's doing that is so he can initiate for the enemy jungler to come gank, especially if the enemy mid laner is walking through a bunch of minions. Pay close attention to his playstyle and see when he's aggressive and passive. If he's been passive farming then randomly wants to start a fight, you should know that's when you're getting ganked. Get out of there and get to your tower. If you get caught, run and dodge as best as possible. If they latch onto you, you're dead. So with the last list being said, let's get to the detail on what to do and you can memorize the list or write it down somewhere. When dealing with an aggressive jungler, stay back as usual, don't make any attention to yourself. Those enemy junglers aren't junglers, they're like teachers and you're in a GTA game, essentially. Every time you get cocky and play super aggressive and cause the enemy mid laner to call for help, you end up increasing your GTA stars, basically. That will cause you to be a bigger target to be ganked. You want to stay under the radar. If these junglers are like the teachers, then you want to treat them like a strict one. You usually don't want to screw around and get in trouble by them. Usually stay quiet and stay under the radar so the teacher has no reason to mess with you. Or think of it as like cheating. When the jungler is near, act like nothing is going on and you're totally not cheating. When the jungler leaves, do whatever the hell you want to pass the mid lane test. Get some CS, snowball a bit, rinse and repeat. You can even treat this like Five Nights at Freddy's kind of deal. Always constantly look at your camera, aka your map, to see where the enemy jungler is. Do whatever kind of analogy that best connects with you. Just know you must always play safe and don't die to any ganks. The most you can do is farm and shine later on in team fights. If the enemy jungler is passive aggressive, you play exactly half of what you would do if the enemy jungler is aggressive and half if the enemy jungler was passive. Play aggressive one moment, play passive the other. Waste their time coming to mid for a gank and essentially want to troll them. They can gank freely if they want to. They have to have the right moment set up for them. You essentially want to troll them. Play up to the enemy tower one moment, then when the enemy jungler comes, just leave the crime scene. Done deal. If they come out the bush, just dodge their CC skills, run away. Play half and half and you'll be unreadable. 
And then for the passive junglers, do the exact opposite of what you would do against an aggressive jungler. These junglers are a joke, like a substitute teacher that gets run over by most of the students. Play aggressive and push up whenever you feel like it. They can't gank early even if they wanted to. And if they do, it's going to be a terrible gank unless they're level 6 or they came from behind perfectly. They suck. Take this opportunity to play this as a 1v1 and there's nobody else in the game. Although you want to ward and watch out occasionally because in this scenario, you're most likely to be ganked by the whole team since the enemy jungler can't do it himself. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how to read your enemy jungler. Know what playstyle to go for and you're one step closer to being a decent mid laner. I'll see you guys in the next video. Good luck on the grind.